Harding Plumbing is a family-owned and operated company, EPA certified and fully insured. At Harding, they offer fair pricing for excellent workmanship. Harding stands behind their work and business name. With 24-hour emergency service and 12 technicians, Harding has the ability to get the workload done in a timely fashion. Call Harding now, 585-237-5561. Recently inducted into the Section 5 Wrestling Hall of Fame, Lutchworth alumnus Mike Nevinger has come a long way since winning five sectional championships as a member of the Indians varsity squad. He moved on to Cornell University, where he placed at the national meet several times and has since become a coach in the sport. Okay, we're here with Lutchworth grad, Mike Nevinger, who is headed into the Section 5 Wrestling Hall of Fame. Um, you know, Mike, first question, when you got that call that you're, you know, getting inducted in the Section 5 Hall of Fame, there's only 150-so-odd people in that. You know, what did that mean to you? What was that feeling like? Uh, it's pretty special. I mean, it's an honor to be uh, selected. There's been a lot of great wrestlers coming out of Section 5 and continue to be. So, um, yeah, just to be associated with the group, like that it's it's pretty special yeah um you know thinking back to your time in high school you you won five sectional titles that's you know almost unheard of you know do you remember all those sectional titles pretty pretty vividly uh at this point not really i mean (laughs) (laughs) i know they're there but it's seems like a long time ago now but uh it meant a lot i mean that was the ultimate goal really ever since Probably since qualifying for states my eighth grade year, it was, you know, being state champion was always what the goal was. So those are what meant a lot to me and, you know, carried me on through. Yeah, I mean, the electric program had a lot of history even before me. We had a lot of good guys once from my beginning to the end, you know, the Henderson boys uh, and uh, my brother and mm-hmm. just a lot of good, solid guys. I mean, we... We did pretty good in the Livingston County area, and it no doubt helped uh, being part of that room, doing what to uh, help me succeed with my goals. It, it, wrestling's kind of a unique sport, is that you know it's one of those where you, it, you're on your own basically. I mean, like, granted, there's te- there's a team aspect to it, but you know how did how old were you when you got into wrestling, and and how was that something you came to you know the sport you came to love? Um. I started around four or five. Um, I wouldn't say it was all that competitive for me. Uh, (laughs) First couple years, uh, didn't really start going until actually my brother um, started. Then we did some tournaments. And then after a few years, we um, linked up with the paddocks, Brad Paddock. He kind of took us in. We started training out of his uh, garage, started uh, team 10 we called it and just watched the little guys and we traveled all over New York State and doing new tournaments and that's really where I would say a lot of the growth as a wrestler and I don't know where, where my wrestling crew would be without the team 10 and the paddocks um, so yeah I mean that's what, where a lot of it started and then kept going through high school kept training at both at Ledgeworth and at, with the paddocks and yeah that's that's the story. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, you took all that, you went to have a great career at Cornell, just, you know, talk about, you know, your time there and, you know, making the jump from, you know, kind of small level high school wrestling to, you know, kind of big time college wrestling. Yeah, it's definitely a big transition. Um, I don't know, I I did like a gray shirt year, so I, I took a year at a community college and wrestled with the uh, club, pro- club program there. Mm-hmm. That helped a lot. We went to some college uh, open tournaments, kind of getting used to the next level. And then, uh, you know, I my first freshman year, I was kind of in a starting battle, ended up losing at the end. So I w- didn't go on to the uh, postseason or anything. But all that just kind of helps you grow as a wrestler, show you what you need to work on and uh, continue on to ultimately what came to be at Cornell. I started the next three years and ended up taking place in that nationals twice. So um, 
can't complain. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Um, are, you, are you still around the sport now? Do you, you still doing anything with the sport, or you know, what are you kind of doing now? Uh, a little bit. Um, I was, you know, helping out at Pittsburgh Wrestling for a couple years, and then I was uh, helping out RIT. Uh, I just recently had a son um, coming up on a year, so I kind of took a step back from coaching with that. Mm -hmm. So I haven't been as involved recently, but um, yeah, still, still staying involved and. Hopefully, once uh, he gets a little older, we'll be very involved. But we'll see. <laughs> gonna make gonna make him into the next Nevinger wrestling star. I I hope so, but we'll see. It's, <laughs> it's not, so. Harding Plumbing is a family-owned and operated company, EPA certified and fully insured. At Harding, they offer fair pricing for excellent workmanship. Harding stands behind their work and business name. With 24-hour emergency service and 12 technicians, Harding has the ability to get the workload done in a timely fashion. Call Harding now, 585-237-5561.